elasticity of demand arc method arc method of measuring elasticity is an improvement over the percentage method why we are going to find an answer for this question i sincerely believe you have already viewed my videos on percentage method and arc method okay we shall now go ahead we shall calculate elasticity in the range a b on the demand curve d d the price falls from 6 rupees to 2 rupees of course the quantity increases from 2 units to 4 units well what is the elasticity then on applying the percentage method formula we get minus 3 by 2 as usual we get the absolute value it is 3 by 2 it is greater than 1 in the range ab the demand is relatively elastic okay once again let us measure elasticity in the same range now moving upwards from 2 rupees to 6 rupees the quantity moves in the opposite direction it shrinks from 4 units to 2 units now the initial price is 2 rupees keep that in your mind accordingly we change the values in the formula the elasticity value is 1 by 4 now in the same range ab the demand is relatively inelastic yes the demand is relatively elastic when you move down demand is relatively inelastic when you move up doesn't sound absurd what is the reason for this absurdity look at the initial price and the initial quantity in both the cases they are different so you get two different results what is the way out the solution lies in taking the average of the two prices and two quantities Accordingly the arc method formula provides for this change if we simplify we get the final formula based on this we discussed the arc method of calculating elasticity in the other video using this formula we get the elasticity value as 2 by 3 whether you move down or up along the same demand curve you will get the same elasticity according to arc elasticity method in the range ab demand is relatively inelastic thanks for watching we shall meet again